Hello, this is Let's Play FB Games with episode 34, I think, or 35, one of the two, 35, um, and we've got a story here, I'm getting real sick of you, Randy. You and a tag team partner of your choice will face me and Cody Rhodes. I deserve to beat Randy last week, and I want revenge. Oh, and your partner has to be on the Smackdown roster. Oh right, yeah, yeah, I'm doing a video now. So we've got, um, that's open the Smackdown. This is episode 35 of Universe, and we've not got the best of cards, I have to admit. It's pretty shit. But JBL does make his debut. Can't wait for that. Let's go. Let's start this card off with some JBL versus Great Carly action. We've got a big main event tonight. We've got um, Edge and Cody Rhodes taking Randy Orton and the mystery partner. In the main event, and what's wrong with JBL's face? Something looks wrong with JBL's face. I don't know what it is. But here he is making his debut. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. From New York City, John Bradshaw. Light for you. Most people detest the man who's approaching the ring, but it's hard to argue with success. Yep, everyone hates JBL, but he's successful, so they have to like him. And that's his limousine, yes. Um, so JC Layfield. I only know that his name, uh, Twitter name is JC Layfield because well, his middle name starts with C, and I can't remember his middle name, so yeah, that one. JBL said he wanted to be on the over limit cards, but the closest he's going to get is the pre show, according to the general manager. If JBL said he could, uh, the general manager said JBL could pick any opponent he wanted for um, facing the uh, over limit on the pre show. I like these little things with the eyes. Quite cool, but quite weird. Come on, we haven't got all episode. I've got some very important watching YouTube videos to do. Come on, Carly. Come on. You need to get to pay per view sometime. <laughs> this is why I don't use Kali. I think since he's almost as long as in the tickets. Oh, that was hell. <laughs> His entrance is as almost as long as the Undertaker's, though. I think we all know how I'm going to play in this match. In just two days, WWE will go over the limit. Hello, yep. everybody, and thank you for joining us for another excited edition of Friday Night Smackdown. I'm Michael Cole, he's Jerry Lawler, and we're ready to get this night going. Missed him. We're well, from Cole. The other one is in two days, and he's right. It's in two days.
JBL wants to punish Kelly. Think Kelly's just a special attraction, not a proper wrestler. JBL's going to work with Kelly on the outside now. I want to try and build JBL up now. I don't know why I waited so long to bring him in though. Oh wait, no, I didn't. I had the um, I had an initial idea to have him and Edge feud, but I turned it to him and Orton. How the hell did I win that grapple? I barely pressed A. His great Kelly broken. No, he's fine. Great Kelly getting squashed by JBL here, but Great Kelly pushing JBL over. JBL with the reversal. Kali you now fighting back. He said he said JBL had enough of your crap. So now Kali uh, uh, trying to fight back. JBL not letting it happen. Drop to hold by Kali. Not let her ever get to any life. DDT by JBL. What an impact from that kick! You hear how his leg connected? Kali with the arm. He anticipated that move perfectly. Another shot mm. to the boot. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, you can feel the force come off the canvas there. And now JBL landing up that core sign from hell. Oh what? Great Kelly out to fight out of his own hell. See when I want to do squash matches, people put up a fight, and when I want to want people to put up a fight, they do squash matches. It's just not right. Jimmy Ella told him this outside. Shannon Kelly, I should have beaten you a long time ago. Kelly, still going to work on JBL. Yeah. Kelly looking for a choke slam, but JBL reversing it. And now Jamie L with an DDT. Just to go to the Kelly. And then another neck breaker. JBL may be looking for another close up now. Okay, maybe not. So JBL looking for the power bomb instead. Oh shit, he had the pin combo in WWE 13. But Kali's done nonetheless. And Cole said it, that was domination by JBL. By Jibble. Jibble the Jibble. The fans clearly go on JBL. JBL says he's ready for any challenges that are thrown his way. But we're pretty sure he gets to choose his opponent. And, well, it could be a pretty good match in the pre show between JBL and his opponent. It's just that JBL face right there with the JBL ness of it. Oh. So it was a pretty short match, but that's what it was intended for. That's what a squash match is. So the next match is something to do with Divas, I think.
Yeah, Caitlyn with Oksana, and Oksana has AJ Lee in her corner. Hmm. No Shannon, and now you're mad. I'm gonna fly like a pie, fly in the sky. The Divas title holder. Hands off, <laughs> mine, I'm not kidding. But, um, Caitlin. AJ tried playing mind games back on that here with Oksana. I don't see how it makes a difference that she's Lithuanian, but okay. I bet Jerry Lawler doesn't even know what a Lithuanian is. AJ Lee trying to get into the head of Caitlyn. Seems like. Why else would AJ be coming down with Oksana? And Oksana's hair going through the ropes there, literally. Just a last picture on the Titan Tron when she's just like, yep, yeah, I'm ready. Randy Orton and his RKO might win the title over the limit against Edge. But we're gonna see Randy Orton action tonight. Who am I going? I'm going AJ Lee, that's why. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, the watch out. This leather clad Lithuanian is not in WWE to make friends. <laughs> leather clad Lithuanian, because it's important that she's from Lithuania. What's your plan going into the match? Well, these two can't stand each other, so somebody's very likely to get hurt. And if that happens, I'll be there to get mouth to mouth on the apron. And now the manager is completely distracted. And with his back to the action like this, anything can happen. Why is it? You mean the ref is completely distracted, not the manager? I just like a little glitch, probably. So I do why I press Y to do that. Okay, right. It was on on the um with the Wii it was a Come on it's uh television screens, whether she's on raw, smackdown, yeah. isn't that great? Yeah, 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 yeah. Look happy, Julie. Um, yeah. What force behind that tackle? Hey Julie comes to the ring and going out the other side. <laughs> I don't know AJ was trying there. AJ, come back in the ring again and go on the other side. Maybe she's just trying to pack on the, I mean, Caitlyn off. Ref mate. Ref mate. Oi, ref mate. Ref mate. Ref mate. You dick. Should we fucking listen? <laughs> I just punched the ref and he didn't even do anything about it. How awesome is that? Oh, you can't forget. Oh, you ref, dude. Oh, Get your ass here. Head down they go. What an impact. Oh, fuck you, ref. I like punching the ref in the face. Right, ref, you're a dick. <laughs> Stop cheating on me, okay? Like <laughs> Sarah. Sarah and Caitlin, they're having a good fight. <laughs> AJ throwing a sledgehammer in the ring. Why? AJ throwing all sorts of shit in the ring. <laughs> Put the ref off. Guess what? Announce the vote. 
<laughs> I'm just blatantly like, pissing off the ref. Right, uh, it's like one count, yeah, okay. Ref, can you actually lift those? It, it may a diva can lift them. What a bitch. That's my egg. Anyway, um, I decided to go for the diva drop. Uh, ref, okay, you ready to cut the pin, ref? Make sure my, my boy Aksana wins. Aksana! Pins the Divas champion. What a big win. AJ was just pissing about. <laughs> As you can see. <laughs> oh, that was pretty entertaining for me. That's why I like those managers, because you can just piss about. AJ and Oksana celebrating with each other. Oksana! What an incredible match! That one could have gone either way! Nobody has anything to be ashamed of in this one! Well, AJ and Lee gaining momentum somehow. On the way to the limit. Well, the pre-show anyway. I'm going to announce the whole card in tomorrow's pre-show. So... You'll all be updated to the card, it's fine, don't worry. Calm your knickers. Uh, okay, how long is it not? They're just shouting each other. Yo, no you, no you. Okay. That was even shorter than the JBL Kali match, which was meant to be shorter than that. I've, JBL and Kali match for like two minutes. I do Anyway, the next match is, of course, the this match, which I cannot remember. The tag team match between Rumor Mysterio and Sin Cara and Tons of Funk. I was originally going to have these on the pre -sh this tag team match in the pre-show, but I thought, no, nah, JBL deserves a chance, so. JBL just started here, and he went, well, he just made his debut in my universe, and he wants to make an impact at the pre-show, so. We're going to make an impact in the real show, but the pre-show's good enough for now. The Mysterio make a fireworks off one end. Oh, the other end. Anyway, I just set up random matches tonight because I didn't know what matches to put in, so I just set up random ones. Sorry. It's a shit card, but if you have a limit, we'll make up for it. More than make up for it, hopefully. Here comes Sinkara. V Sinkara WWE. Can I be honest and say I never knew Sinkara had Twitter? That's just something stupid to say, I don't know. Well, I never knew Sinkara had Twitter. I'm admitting it loud and proud. Well, not proud, but loud. Yeah. So Sinkara does have Twitter, and he's teaming with Rey Mysterio to take on the tons of funk tonight. This is the other tag team match that's happening tonight. We've got the mid event tag match. It's not a new guy who's a mystery partner or anything, it's a guy who's already, already on the roster. No, it's not Tensai, it's Sweet Tea. Should I just change his call name just for the hell of it, just for Sweet Tea? See if I can get Sweet Tea. I can get tea, but can I get Sweet? If I can get Sweet Tea, I might just change his call name just for the shit. For the shit stains. If you can, I don't know if you can. I don't think you can actually, it's pretty terrible. Oh well, if I could, I would do that. BT Tensei BC Brothers Clay taking on uh, RM and SC Rim Stereo Sinkara in this no disqualifications anything goes Triple H match. Um, I'm not going to play this one, it's not really that. It is an interesting tag match, it's just a randomly booked tag match. 
I'm also running out of tag teams, so I'm going to have to create more. I really need Xbox Live, but I'm not getting that till I've done my exams. And my exams are in April. Or oh, May, I can't remember. One of the two. I think it's the end of April, start of May, so it's about two and a half months away. So, ten weeks away. So, it's ten weeks till I get my, uh, my Xbox Live. So, I'll probably be like, I don't know, Night of Champions by then. Maybe not. Maybe not that far. I don't know. Uh, what episode are we on? 35. I'll be around SummerSlam Night Champions time by then. Hopefully, if the series continues to go well. If I decide to get the series going. Which I will. I know I quit 13, but 14 I'm staying on with. I like, I like doing 14 years. Well, actually, 14 and 13 are pretty much the same. I just quit 13, 13, 13 because I had to do it downstairs and my family were always getting in the way. So I've got, um, got a TV in my room, I've got my Xbox in my room, I've got 2K14 in my room, so there's there's a prob uh, there's an answer to that problem. The range of emotions here is startling. There's almost an unknowing of what to expect. Oh, that impulse got hurt! And now he's back out Ten side attacking Mysterio for no reason. And that's in Cairo wanting to get Tensai for that for some reason. I don't know. Well, actually, no, I don't know. Is he going for the Superplex? Oh, the Hurricane Rana. The Superplex. The Superplex. The Pooper Slipper. I'm going to call it the Poop. There should be a move called the Pooper Slipper, just so I can call it the Pooper Slipper. The Pooper Slipper. I don't know. Um, so anyway, we're doing some Tara early uh, action, action, action. What well, I meant, they've got the early advantage, is what I meant. Double shoulder block by the team, the high flyer and Luchador team. So Sin Cara's just tagged out and now he wants straight back in. You shouldn't have tagged out then. Right, okay, uh, anyway. Since I tried tagging Bros Clay, all you need to do is press the LB button, mate. But no, you can't do that, and no. Uh, Rey Mysterio and Sin Cara doing another double team move. Probably going to be another shoulder block. Oh no, a double hip toss thing. Majugal. Majigger, Majagger, and McJagger. I don't know. I love how the light on the fans on Raw is red, but on SmackDown it's blue. It's just like football where Manchester, and Chelsea, Manchester United and Chelsea, they're like rivals. Oh, well, Man United and Man City, actually, because they're blue. Um, then also... Red and blue. Who have a red and blue rivalry? Uh, Liverpool and Everton in football. Or soccer, as they call it in America, but football terms. Uh, Aberdeen and Rangers. I don't know. No. Um, what's the other team going to I'm not... Well, it's blue and green, but we're not going green, sure. I don't really know what colour East of the would be, I think it's just like a brutal, I don't know, yeah, yeah, sure. ECW is not going to be bar as boring as it makes out, it's going to get better. If anybody does watch this and um, comments, actually, no, never mind, it doesn't matter. It runs with plan. Uh, going to work on the leg of Sweet T Tensai. Not T, but T. T for tomatoes! One. Sorry, my dog came up and I like my dog clothes. I'm one of those teenagers who like to be isolated and just in the wrong room. It's not a problem for anyone, is it? No, good, because I don't care if it was. So now, well, big double splash thing and we've got a square taken out on the stereo. And tons of funk are definitely in control, but uh, Sinkara getting his revenge on Tensai for some reason. Really a good match, I have to admit. Not been much wrong with this match apart from the quality of the video. 
But it can't be helped. Well, it can be helped. I don't help it. See, there's my problem. The problem is, what's Sin Cara? Oh, Sin Cara's broken. Fucking brilliant. Awesome, mate. Awesome sauce. You could just pin him right here and now and there be no thing. Ray! Sin Cara's broken. You can't do anything, mate. Tons of fun to win, thanks to, well, partly to a broken Sin Cara, but also to the power of the tons of fun. I don't watch highlights, why am I watching highlights all of a sudden? Well, Sweet T and BC win. Big birdie, 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 birdie. You're a good teammate. Let's keep tagging to get a future. I had Bruce play on ECW, but it didn't fit in anywhere over there. He didn't get a match, so he's not getting a match on there ever. Quite a short match. Next match is this match with Barrett and Darren Young. And Darren Young maybe looking to get into Wade Barrett's head. Oh shit, I had a plan for this. Why the fuck? Um, no, no, skip, 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 skip. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Yeah, we know. Making his way to the ring. Yeah, we know. From Manchester. Yeah, we know. Yeah, we know. Yeah, we don't need to see the entrances. Also, I need new entrances for the prime time players. Alright, Barrage, yes. I, I, I am going to do this match. I just got plumbed for it. I'm sorry. Kind of involves screwing the other. I'm sorry. Just hope it doesn't reset my whole cards, although it's not really important who the mystery partner is, to be honest. I'll look so it is, but. Can't be helped if it's not. Um, interfere. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to do this. It's just to build up the thingy. The pay per view. It's just. It's just business. Near. He's a former Bear Knuckles fighting champion in his native England. So you know he's tough. And ruthless as they come. Clash of the sights to Barrett. Barrett. No. Maybe we thought. God. Fuck. It isn't working. What's supposed to happen here is uh, Titus O'Neil is supposed to get both of them finishes. And Titus O'Neil apparently attacking his friend, which is true. Well, former friend, I guess. Tyson on Neil taking out both Wade Parrot and Darren Young. What a man. Match highlights. How long was that match, for example? <laughs> 38 seconds, okay. Okay, next match is a mystery partner, so I'm going to have to cover the screen. Test screen. It's the guy who's, well, not like Randy Orton, who's got history with Randy Orton. 
in real life, obviously not in the game, because I'm not using my kind of much on the game. Oh shit, I just give it away. Fuck. Oh well. Now you know. And the entrances are off, so yeah. Oh well. We knew who it was. We knew who it was. It was Mark Henry. We got entrances off because of the interference in the last match. Either way, you're going to find out. It's not really the big deal. Edge and Orton, the title uh, build up. Champion and Challenger. Throw the limit and taking on each other to stop this match. I don't know. Good well question. So Cody said he wanted revenge against Orton for Orton beating him last week. Cody Rhodes said, well, I beat Edge, so I should really beat Orton, because uh, Edge is better than Orton. So Edge uh, said, oh, thanks, Cody. And he offered him, he offered Cody his tag team match at the start of the show. And, well, this is what it got to. Mike Henry was recruited. Um, as I stupidly give away. Oh, well. I saw him the surprise up, but it's okay. The match, can, the match in the show can still go on as, well, you know, yeah, yed. I know there hasn't been much build up, but Mark Henry and Ryback are fully wrestling at the pay per view. We were wrestling on one. As far as we know, Ryback's still game. We've not heard from Ryback actually in a while. It's not been the best episode of SmackDown, in fact it's probably been the worst, but I can't help doing shit episodes, it's not my fault. It's the game's fault for not, uh, well it's my parents' fault for not getting me it, it's like, that's, that's what I'm going to blame for my parents, my parentals. Tag into Cody Rhodes and Cody Rhodes could try and uh, get the attack on Mike Henry and Cody Rhodes is going to get turned on by Edge here, great. Fucking great! Brilliant! Yeah, Edge, you go fucking ruin it. You pig. So now it's Mike Henry and Norton versus Cody. Cody can pull a win off here. Cody said he wants revenge against Orton, but now he must want revenge against Edge. What a nasty elbow! No block. What a tag team match this has been. Oh, out of nowhere! What an STO! What an impact from that kick! So Mike Henry and Orton are pretty much going to just beat up Cody in a minute. Cody Rhodes has just been con uh, confined to doom by Edge. It's just a matter of time. Hopefully Cody Rhodes doesn't break and actually puts up a match. But now the Orton stomp. And uh, this is going to be over before you know it. Is that going to be it for Rhodes? Nope. This might be. RKO. It, it, was, it was always going to happen after Edge left. That's going to be it. It's going to end the No! Rhodes kicking out the RKO. Rhodes saying, I'm not done yet. Rhodes making a pretty good account of himself. He wants to go for that World Heavyweight title. And well, he's defeated Edge. He lost to Orton, but he's putting up a good fight here. Mike Henry with a sleeper hold. 
Cleo's breaking out. Cleo's put up one hell of a fight. It's what we like to see from these young guns. Oh, my parents are getting invested by Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes is taking control of my camera here. Or is it just my sister, she's asking if I have the money and I don't. I'm as poor as a peanut. Oh, I don't have peanuts as a poor. And Cody Rhodes trying to remember that he's not got a tag partner now. He's got to fight someone on his own. And he's not doing a bad job. He's been RKO'd, but... He hasn't given up hope yet. Knee drop. Isn't that one of his signatures? A one count on Henry. Cody Rhodes can beat down. Henry and Orton by himself. I think that says World Heavyweight Championship picture. Cody Rhodes has been relentless in his pursuit towards the World Heavyweight title anyway. Mike Curry may be looking to tag uh, Orton back in. But throwing Curry Rhodes in the corner. But <laughs> Rhodes not letting it happen. Rhodes saying, Mike Henry, you're the weaker man. I want to try and defeat you. I think we've got a face turn on Rhodes for Rhodes here. I think Rhodes is always face. So. Face. Well, I think we have got face turn with Rhodes. <laughs> kicks to the back. I'll kick. And then kick to the stomach. More kicks. Big slam. I could do it. Oh, oh. Orton coming in. Cody Rhodes hasn't done well against Orton recently. He lost last week and he may be losing again. Right here. No, two and a half. Cody Rhodes kicking out. I think Cody Rhodes should be on at least a signature by now. Big suplex by Orton. And now another Orton Storm. Boy, this has just been pandemonium. That might put Cody Rhodes out. Is that gonna be it? One, two, three. Randy Orton and Mark Henry are always gonna win after Edge left Cody Rhodes. Orton won after the Orton Storm. I've got a cutscene here. Onto the Giant and Diesel. First of all, Randy Orton and Mike Henry aren't the number one contenders. Second of all, it's either Andre the Giant and King Kong Bundy or Diesel and Shawn Michaels. Take your poison, pick your poison, I don't know. But anyway, Rhodes put up one hell of a fight. And we've heard that next week on SmackDown, um, if uh, whoever loses at um, Over Limit, they'll have to tag with Rhodes in a tag team match against two other uh, people going for the World Heavyweight Championship and they're going to have to fight each other and the tag team that win will go to No Way Out to make a triple threat so big news there that's it and here we go for the limit uh, just about none of these matches, well a couple of these matches will be happening yeah these will be happening, that's not, that's not, that's not that is, but I'm pretty sure. That is, that's not, and that is, but I'm not in an I quit match. So, big card for the limit. Not the actual card that we're going to use, but over the limit. Next episode, I'll see you later. Bye bye.